good morning students today we are going to learn the chapter plant nutrition and today's topic is chemical structure and properties of water what may be the most important molecules for life some may argue dna some may argue certain proteins but many would argue water and what makes water so important its properties the nature of the three atoms and how they interact with each other this allows water to be a polar molecule which allows it to interact with many other molecules necessary for life most of the substances in a cell are floating around in a water based cytoplasmic environment chemical structure and properties of water you are probably already familiar with many of water's properties for example you no doubt know that water is tasteless odorless and transparent in small quantities it is also colorless however when a large amount of water is absorbed as in a lake or a ocean it is actually light blue in color the blue hue of water is an intrinsic property and is caused by selective absorption and scattering of white light these and other properties of water depend on its chemical structure the transparency of water is important for organisms that live in water because water is transparent sunlight can pass through it sunlight is needed by water plants and other water organisms for photosynthesis chemical structure of water each molecule of water consists of one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen so it has the chemical formula h2o the arrangement of atoms in a water molecule shown in figure below explains many of water's chemical properties in each water molecule the nucleus of the oxygen atom with eight positively charged protons attracts electrons much more strongly than do the hydrogen nuclei with only one positively charged protons this results in a negative electrical charge near the oxygen atom due to the pull of the negatively charged electrons towards the oxygen nucleus and 
a positive electrical charge near the hydrogen atoms a difference in electrical charge between different parts of a molecule is called polarity a polar molecule is a molecule in which part of the molecule is positively charged and part of a molecule is negatively charged see half parts having the negatively charged part of molecules and remaining half part is a positively charged part of molecules two hydrogens and one oxygen molecules combined to form the complete water molecules H2O this model shows the arrangement of oxygen and hydrogen atoms in a water molecule a water molecule has a bent or angular that means non linear shape with an angle of about 105 degree the nucleus of the oxygen atom attracts electrons more strongly than do the hydrogen nuclei as a result the middle part of the molecule near oxygen has a negative charge and the other parts of the molecule have a positive charge in essence the electrons are pulled towards the nucleus of the oxygen atom and away from the hydrogen atom nuclei water is a polar molecule with an unequal distribution of charge throughout the molecule unique properties of water first water is polar water molecules are polar with partial positive charges on the hydrogens a partial negative charge on the oxygen and a bent overall structure this is because oxygen is more electronegative meaning that it is better than hydrogen at attracting electrons number 2 water is an excellent solvent water has the unique ability to dissolve many polar and ionic substances this is important to all living things because as water travels through the water cycle it takes many valuable nutrients along with it number 3 properties of water is water has high heat capacity it takes a lot of energy to raise the temperature of a certain amount of water by a degree so water helps with regulating temperature in the environment for example this property allows the temperature of water in a pond to stay relatively constant from day to night regardless of the changing atmospheric temperature number 5 water has high heat of vaporization humans and other animals that sweat use water's high heat of vaporization to cool off water is converted from its liquid form to 
steam when the heat of vaporization is reached since sweat is made mostly of water the evaporating water absorbs excess body heat which is released into the atmosphere this is known as evaporative cooling next properties of water is water has cohesive and adhesive properties water molecules have strong cohesive forces due to their ability to form hydrogen bonds with one another cohesive forces are responsible for surface tension the tendency of a liquid surface to resist rupture when placed under tension or stress water also has adhesive properties that allow it to stick to substances other than itself these cohesive and adhesive properties are essential for fluid transport in many forms of life for example they allow nutrients to be transported to the top of a tree against the force of gravity next properties of water is water is less dense as a solid than as a liquid as water freezes the molecules form a crystalline structure that spaces the molecules further apart than in liquid water this means that ice is less dense than liquid water which is why it floats this property is important as it keeps ponds lakes and oceans from freezing solid and allows life to continue to thrive under the ice surface next properties of water is water dissolves everything because it is the universal solvent water has the ability to dissolve many substances but the term universal solvent is misleading water is able to dissolve other polar molecules and ions such as sugar and salts however non polar molecules like oils lack partial positive or partial negative charges so they are not attracted to water molecules this is why non polar substances like oil remain separate when added to water terms and meaning of the specific terms polar molecules means a neutral or uncharged molecules that has an asymmetric internal distribution of charge leading to partially positive and partially negative regions cohesion means the attraction of molecules for other molecules of the same kind adhesion means the attraction of molecules for other molecules of a different kinds density means the mass per unit volume of a substance specific heat capacity means the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of 1 gram of substance by 1 degree celsius and heat of vaporization means the amount of energy needed to change 1 gram of a liquid substance to a gas at constant temperature